Hi all, some solo footage play today. Um, this was me basically running around looking to um, go from the south, I guess west of the map, up towards Novi. And uh, actually that was my target, was to loot Novi, uh, uh, Starry, sorry, and just really go through, uh, get some better gear. At the moment, pretty well armed, got DMR, usual stuff. Um, but I don't have a great deal of um, food and things like that. So I think really well, what I was trying to do was just get somewhere where um, I can, I you know, stock up. Um, so a few things I guess to go through today, I mean what I wanted to use the video for was also just to maybe do a bit of a commentary around some of the things going on in Daisy at the moment. Obviously those who follow uh, follow Rocket on Twitter, you'll see that he's now got the Daisy standalone, well at least running, <laughs> at least it runs, so um, that's obviously quite exciting. I wonder how that will work though, I wonder if it's going to be a, um, you know, like a Steam game like Armour, you download it and then you play it. I'm, I'm sure you've got to buy it obviously, but I think I'm interested to see maybe what already or rather how that will work um, I, I do have kind of fears around this because obviously things like portal and such really I guess started life more as mods um, and I think really I'm kind of hoping that he does treat this as a full standalone game uh, and so on but anyway we'll see I've got high faith in him I think he's a very professional chap um, like Notch I think he's um, you know he seems to have a good well, a really good grasp on what he's doing and very professional guy and uh, I'm particularly like he didn't get involved with all the War Z uh, nonsense. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, War Z was I, I guess a copy. Um, I don't really know too much about it. All I read was just stuff on Reddit and usual stuff that people seem to you know gab on about. A lot of fanboys in uh, DayZ naturally because it's a great game and I think people do get a bit you know funny when you can see there is an obvious uh, attempt to maybe cash in on the IP of others. Um, I'm not sure if that's what happened with War Z because I mean I, I remember War Inc and I think I played it for about 30 seconds before literally uninstalling it in disgust because it was so terrible. So when I heard that they were basically going to base War Z on um, the back of, of War Inc, immediately that just made me think, do you know what, oh, I think I'll give that one a miss. I'm, I'm more of a real realistic gamer, I prefer games that have a bit of realism to them. I also don't like the whole, I mean DayZ has obviously its, its loophole, so you die, you spawn and all that, but I like to consider it a different character, you know, you're an entirely different person and so on, but in War Inc I think you die and it's like, oh well, I've got to wait a bit and, you know, spawn again, and, it, and, and one of the things I think that completely turned me off against it, and again this is only what I've heard, so if I'm wrong, post in the comments that I'm a noob and I should shut up, because one of the things I heard is there's a currency in the game, um, this may be part of the real uh, of microtransactions, so you can actually buy currency to buy things and upgrade and perma, you know, have perma equipment and stuff like that. I don't know, maybe just the realism starts to disappear and I think then the point also starts to disappear. Daisy is brutal and I think it's also incredibly chance based because you can be looting and you can pick up some of the best stuff in the game and you could be looting and get shot in the head and, you know, I, I think there's a, I don't know, there's a, there's a part of the game there that actually doesn't need an economy. Um, but you know, I could be wrong. But I think with the whole uh, mix between the two, Rocket was very. Um, it was good to see he didn't really get involved because you know you see a few developers kind of. <laughs> they, they, I guess they shit talk. Um, I, I guess it's just best not to because obviously you know you you do ta tarnish your reputation. And let's face it, reputation in, in game development is probably everything. I mean, Notch is you know seen as a very decent guy. He made Minecraft, and I think you know people respect him. Okay, he's had a few um, he's had a few moments on Twitter, I guess, but generally he's 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 a pretty solid guy. So you know that's always I think the community particularly respect him because of that. And I think the same as Rocket. So kudos to him for not getting involved with the War Z thing. I think in terms of uh, our group, um, there's a video I just did last night um, that I'm uploading right now where Parlek, our trusty guy who I shot in the back of the head, um, he gets completely taken out by zombies. How this happened I'm not entirely sure but um, yeah so basically there's a video coming um, probably before or after this which just shows me uh, basically going and rescuing him so uh, much love Parlick, you're a noob. Um, and I think really it was quite an interesting thing because um, on that particular video I actually found some NVGs at a helicopter crash site so um, I'm just over the moon with that so you'll see that in probably one of the videos coming up. And also just another comment on our squad, Willy Boy's computer is now fixed or rather it will be tomorrow so 
we're going to do some uh, more squad play. We've got a fair bit of footage, actually. I mean, we've, we're, we're sad and, you know, you know uh, family-style men who <laughs> unfortunately do have either a lot of time to play or absolutely bugger all. So, and lately, because of Christmas, we've actually had quite a bit of time to play. So we did pick up quite a bit of footage. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll certainly start editing that into something a bit more enjoyable than this. This is just me talking and looting. But... Um, I'll certainly do that, but what I'd like to say is if there's anybody out there who um, actually wants to maybe get in on these videos, that would be awesome. I know um, obviously we're going to get loads of hackers coming and shooting me in the back of the head, which is totally cool. It makes for good videos, so I'm happy with that, but if you are interested, maybe drop me an email on YouTube if you can do that. I, I don't know if you can actually. I think you can. Um, and just let us know what's uh, what what you know if you're interested really I guess we um, we're, we're all euros we're actually British um, as you can tell by our fine eloquence um, and I guess really um, you know if you can play on that time zone then awesome but uh, what we're looking for is just a you know another you know three or four players really just to kind of do some more larger squad stuff um, you will die a lot it'll be fun <laughs> we have comms so um, you know, get, uh, drop us an um, uh, drop me an email, and um, we'll see how that goes. The reason we want to do it is I think we we played very much as a three. We do have four or five, um, a fourth and a fifth position as well. That you know, for a couple of guys that I know that we play with, but very rarely. I think at the moment we're kind of looking for just someone who you know when we when we plan to do something at the weekend or something like that. If you're interested, then you know that'd be awesome. Um, and it'll just involve playing Daisy, shooting, killing, having a bit of fun. And we may go and do some more interesting stuff. We're certainly going to look at some other maps as well. But I think at the moment we are actually having quite a lot of fun in Cherno. So um, you know, I know it's old school represent, but I quite like Cherno. I think it's an interesting thing, and I think a lot of the gameplay we've been doing lately is is more bandit bandit tree. Um, but we're not going to kill anybody we come across just for the sake of killing them. Um, <laughs> well, we, we'll see how we'll test that. But I don't think we want to really. Um, but certainly we're, uh, <laughs> we're we're open to suggestions, and like I say, if you're a group group of hackers just want to come in and kill me, then that's even better because that makes for a good laugh. I actually had some hackers get me recently. Actually, I think um, I was uh, well. I I've actually got the footage, so I may share it. I was basically sneaking along the coast, just south of uh, Berezino, and I saw that a helicopter had landed on the roof of the petrol station. So I thought, well, that's odd. So I basically took up a position. Now I only had an M14 aim, which kind of sucks, but I thought, well, let's see, I might be able to get a few of them. And I saw that they were basically filling up the uh, the fuel. How they were doing that from the, the rooftop, I actually couldn't figure out, but they seemed to be able to get up and back down and up from the... Uh, from the 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 elevated roof, but um, I don't know hacks maybe. Who knows? Um, but basically, I started taking some shots at them just as they started to take off, and I think I did some damage to them because um, they came back with a vengeance and started uh, basically shooting every building they could and destroying it around the factory. Um, and uh, then all of a sudden, everybody in the entire area was warped into the middle of the ocean. Now. I, I logged off immediately. I, I've seen a few videos where they've done that. I think to Rhino Crunch and others where you know they've they've hacked him into the middle of the ocean. And if you log off immediately, then log back on, then log off again, then log back on. It sounds weird, I know, but um, you actually then spawned the coast, so I didn't die. So um, that was pretty cool because I didn't lose any stuff and I didn't die. So um, I'm particularly um, impressed with that. I don't know if it's supposed to work that way, but it certainly seemed to with what I was doing. Um, at the time, again, I had the M14 aim, and I think not far after that, I actually picked up a DMR, and I was then a bit better equipped. But, I, I, you know, just a bit... I wasn't actually that bothered. I thought it was quite funny, to be honest with you. But I'm sure as, um, as time goes on, you know, I'm sure we're going to have more and more hackers giving us general problems um, but I think again you know you can't become too attached to stuff and I, I, I cite the old Eve reference here that when you become you become too attached to your stuff you stop playing you play less you play more cautiously and I think you have less fun I think there is actually something really quite funny about spawning with nothing and looting Cherno like a, a mad rabbit trying to get around and pick up all your you know the the good stuff. You get a Lee Enfield or something like that, and you're like, yeah, baller! I can now fight people. And I th I don't know. I I really rate that. I think that as part of the game is just so much more fun than like with a ghillie, with an S50, with rangefinders and all that. I mean that's good fun. Don't get me wrong, but I don't know. Just part of me um, 
I do prefer, <laughs> I do prefer, I know it sounds crazy, but I do prefer actually dying and starting again with nothing because you can actually just have more fun. This is, I think, true in probably most games, MMOs and stuff like that, where you, you don't have persistent stuff. Um, and I think that's just because your stuff becomes a barrier to you having fun. But anyway, we've talked about that before. Just a quick thing on sniper rifles. I've been basically trying to sort of look through the, the database on what are good sniper rifles. And um, I've become quite a big fan of the DMR, obviously. I generally have um, at least one or two DMRs stowed away somewhere quiet and secret. Um, and I, I think, you know, they're particularly good. But I've got to admit, so far I've not actually come across any players with the DMR. So um, maybe post in the comments if you think it's a good rifle for PvP. Because w what I've found is, is that it's obviously working with night vision, which I think is critical. Um, because I do have night vision on another character. And I think that's why um, I quite like the idea of, of, of the DMR as a gun. I mean, you can see here I'm just... Really shady, but I don't know, is it any good? I don't really know. And I think we had a few AS50s as well, which I'll share the video of how we actually got them. Well, I don't think they were hacked in, but they certainly was a bit suspicious to find two of them in a truck, but you never know. Um, and we had a bit of a play with the AS50s, and um, you know, the fact that you can't use them at night is a bit of a bug. Um, but again, I guess a lot of players don't play at night. This is the thing, because obviously in this video where I say Parlick, I actually get a, pair, a set of night vision for him. And um, all of a sudden, he can now play at night. And I think maybe that's um, maybe that's just the way it works. It's supposed to work that way. I don't know, but I, um, I think when you play at night, there's less likelihood that you're going to come across other players. And even if you do, things like the DMR surely become maybe a really, really much better rifle. Um, post in the comments, let me know what you think. Because um, I think things like the M24, I don't know if that's any good. Um, even sub, you know, kind of ARs and such, like assault rifles like the uh, the CCO, that seems pretty good. That works with night vision as well. Um, so I think really I'm kind of, you know, curious to see what people maybe use as their PvP rifle maybe at night. Um, again, not saying <laughs> we're going to go and kill everybody, but... Um, as you can see, um, you know, we're certainly getting a lot of them. This loot wreck here, um, this was interesting because I actually found another two DMR rifles here, would you believe? So um, this is where I think my stash of DMRs have certainly come from. So you can see things, you always find the FN foul here, generally they're not very good. You find the one with the night scope as well, which is just broken because you, your contrast just doesn't help you do it, you use it. Um, the, the silence rifle is pretty good as well, but I think um, <clears throat> the, the ultimate find here is obviously DMRs, AS50s and so on, and night visions and ghillies, and I've got to admit, I've not been terribly lucky, but that find for the night vision was, was just, um, it was majestic. <laughs> I really was just blown away that I found that. I almost want to kind of just go around and loot like five or six pairs of night vision goggles, because they just to me seem to be the ultimate find in the game. I don't know if there's anything more cherished than that maybe, but to me just night vision is just absolutely critical but again it you don't need it if you don't play at night and this is the thing i guess i um i, I actually quite prefer playing you know obviously in the dark because i think it, it gives a bit of atmosphere but um it's very rare to find a night server with over 10 people on it so again you just generally don't come across people um with them um, and I think really that's kind of the uh, the frustration of it really because um, you know I think they're so rare I mean they're like incredibly rare I would almost change the drop of them a little bit maybe just to populate night servers a little bit more um, I'm sure people hack them in as well but again I think every every PvP kill we've made we've never found anyone with um, with night vision we found people pretty well armed you know even as 50s and such but we've not yet come across anybody who actually had stuff like night vision or even range finders i mean to me range finders seem to be rarer than rocking or shit so i don't know what the score is there so in the footage just trying to again everybody tells me that the the the, the helicopter pilots are a special spawn sometimes they spawn with um NVGs, so I'm just kind of running around. I think these are just the regular troops here. Um, but again, I, I seem to have a lot of good luck with helicopter crashes. I, um, I certainly come across a lot of them. I, I also generally come across a lot of player corpses at them as well. So I don't know if it's noobs being killed by the mass zombies attack or as I would suspect, a lot of players actually just set up shop and <laughs> wait for somebody to notice it. Because think about it, you know, you can see a helicopter crash from miles away and you're going to go and look at it. There's nothing, you know, it's unlikely you're just going to walk past it. So <clears throat> to me, they just seem an amazing 
um, you know, a bandit style um, sniper setup. And particularly if you find one down by Zub, Zub Castle, um, you do get a lot of newbie traffic down there. So um, definitely worth, um, if you're a bandit, it's definitely worth looking at doing that. We may do that. I mean, that may be something we have a go at. And again, I think it really comes down to, you know, um, we, you know, we always play as a three and a four. So um, if you're interested, send me an email and um, yeah, come play with us because uh, we don't bite. We're terribly British and very polite. And um, yeah, we'd love to uh, grow our squad. So hope you enjoyed that. Talk to you next time.